forecast. Hard to believe 18 days till Christmas, so <laughs> naturally this weekend is going to be one of those busy shopping weekends, and so far, so good with the weather, Christina. Who's counting though, right, Mark? Mm. 18 <laughs> days. All right, Mr. Christmas. I love that though. Yeah, Is who it doesn't? Busy? Yeah, right. that's very true. Hey, did you get those decorations up, by the way? I'm going to try tomorrow. That seems fair. You know what? It's a better day. I've been paying attention to your forecast. Uh, I appreciate that. Right. I hope you guys are paying attention too because guess what? Tomorrow really is the better of the two weekend days to get the decorations up and get the Christmas spirit. But I'll tell you what, right now it's not too bad outside. Butternut Grove, Loyal Sockville, they're nice and quiet. So is everybody else around the region. The entire state is looking pretty good right now on radar. But you know what's not looking so good? The temperatures. Oh yeah, really nice influx of cold air out of the northwest has sent temperatures spiraling you can see compared to this time yesterday we're considerably colder 10 degrees colder in Williamsport 15 degrees colder in Sealands Grove 12 in Mount Pocono even Allentown 13 degrees colder now the actual temperatures themselves look a little something like this the warmest spots in the upper 20s the coldest spots a little bit closer to that big two zero or little two zero I should say it's gonna be pretty cold overnight tonight as well if you're heading out to Christmas in our hometown in Tunkhannock the last night of the event. They're around till 9. Right now in Tunkhannock, it's about 24 degrees, so you can still have a lot of fun. Just make sure you're bundled up like Santa Claus if you are heading out there, to say the least. Oof, here's a look at uh, our lows over the next couple of hours. We drift down into the upper teens, and most of us end up right in this range between the upper teens and the low 20s. Either way you swing it, it's pretty darn cold. But we get a little warmer tomorrow. Here's the deal. So low pressure left us yesterday high pressure came in it brought some of that colder air but now Pennsylvania is getting a little switcheroo here with the wind direction. You can see these red arrows from the south. Those are going to start moving our way once we get to tomorrow. So we get that warmer air, that warmer flow from the southwest. It is ahead of another low pressure system, but for tomorrow, we get to reap the benefits. This is what it looks like, first of all. Not too bad. We don't see any precipitation, but we do see a little bit of cloud cover start to creep in throughout the day, especially during the evening. And our high temperatures are, whoa, a lot warmer, 40 in Wilkes-Barre and Britain. I mean, Mount Pocono, eh, 33. Not too great, but hey, it's above freezing. That counts for something. 41 in Williamsport, 41 in Sealands Grove, same thing over here in Pottsville. So we're closer to 40 than 30, most of us anyway, and it makes for a decent enough day to get outside. Tonight, we're right around 20. The coldest places, though, a little closer to 15. I'm talking the Poconos and the northern tier. Make sure you're bundled up. Tomorrow, you don't have to bundle up quite as much. We end up around 40, which is considerably better than we were today. So get outside. Enjoy the fact that we will see a little bit of sunshine before we turn to rain. Clouds increase through tomorrow. We finally get back to that wet stuff Monday and Tuesday. Temperatures skyrocket with all that warm air, but can't really enjoy it, unfortunately, because it's going to be too wet. Snow showers for Wednesday, though. Few here and there. Nothing too crazy overall. We get some sunshine Thursday and Friday. And then it looks like a little wintry mix just in time for next weekend. Something we're keeping an eye on. Download the Eyewitness Weather app. That way, whether it's cold, warm, wet, or dry, you'll always have all the details. Penguins like wintry mixes. They do. Yeah, I'm not a big fan myself. No, <laughs> no. but I like penguins. No, and I'll tell you what I do love. What's that? The forecast tomorrow. I yep. do what I can. Daddy's you know what? got some decorating to do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I expect pictures, by the way, when you're uh, done, Mr. Griswold. Okay, I'll try. Uh, <laughs> how about those Warriors today, though? The Wyoming so Area Warriors. So exciting. What a thrilling game, uh, and what a remarkable compact. That fourth quarter, the stuff legends are made of. Mike Gilbert has 